Right. <laughs> Do you want to introduce us? Not only. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and this is the hex that I brought. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, this is... He's like a five dollar bit. That's a five dollar so what's happening right now is uh, I'm pouring kava. Now just give a scientific. What's the scientific name? What's the? Uh, it's pepper. Proteus uh, brownius. <coughs> it's uh, I was gonna say pepper mite syrup. Pepper mite. Yes, yeah, something like this. Yeah. But you're gonna swear. It's um, but it's a from from it's a pepper variety. Yeah. I don't know. Pepper. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Someone has to say it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to say it. You the yes woman. So <coughs> this is Tumeli Tungwata, who's the filmmaker. I'm here to mix a good rock. It's full of full of And then we need a girl. So I said yes, why not? We needed a we needed a girl. We needed an indigenous lady. And then we needed oh, an indigenous oh woman. So I was gonna go on my Are you a new filmmaker? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, We have a reputation of uh, coup d'etats after an election that doesn't go down well for mm. the previous government. Mm. And oh, as long as there's a military, uh, for me, going into always, this, uh... always, I don't know what could do we de weaponize them? Do we, do we have the men, but they only they still get involved in peacekeeping duties because that's money also for them, it's a source of income. But we don't carry uh, guns here. Mm -hmm. yeah? So if Sudan or someone asks for support, we send our men, they use the military, they use guns and whatever that's there. You think the arms, uh, the arms might be the issue? But I mean, when you think about it, like oh, the those nice vehicles. The thing is, like with George Spade School, with the Bush Bush rifle, yeah, <laughs> but you see George Spade School, yeah. like that's that a that's, a, lot, that's a civilian coup. You know, like I think if people want to take over, they'll take over. You know, and I think if you disarm the army, then who stops a potential George Spade coup again? Yeah. A civilian coup. But they got the military. They, they got their guns from the army. From the army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. Uh, and I was in Parliament when they came in. Yeah. And Whoa. they came in shorts and like looking like a video. Okay, I thought it was like a drama <laughs> because it was the one year anniversary killer of the Labour government. Yeah, yeah. They'd been here one year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so you were there? Oh, yes, I was, I, was, I was a reporter. Wow. So did you tell us? Tell us oh. My gosh, you should have started me yeah. that. That's so exciting. We you were just ask. in school. <laughs> We were just in school, like uh, the teachers, like, hey, pack your things. We we have to go to the ground. Oh, and that's it. That's our story. So did they when they came in? Did they start firing guns yeah. up at the ceiling? No. Like, this is a this is a whole kind of thing. You know? <laughs> no. No, they like there was only seven of them or something. Wait, so the parliament they could have like overpowered them. That guns. Are... Oh, okay. Yeah, they couldn't. But like, <laughs> first of all, we were all a bit shocked right, because right. there was someone screaming oh, wow. in the house. Yeah. Like, who screams in the house? And then you don't go past the, you know, Takumba's well, club. stuff, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What's it called? The... Parliament. Yeah, not the... The scepter. Yes, what's yes. Scepter? But what's the, the other name? Wow. Right. The scepter is the word that they use in Himen, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chase the mace. The mace. Mace, mace, yeah. Mace, yeah. mace. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> that whole, like, that whole month, they've been having all these marches. You know, the nationalists were marching in town because of the land reforms that Mr. Chaudhry was doing. Yeah. Eh? 
And so this one, I've been covering that much. Yeah. But then this night before, I was in Birdland. <laughs> so I'm sorry, can you explain what the hab laugh no? Birdland is a that nice nightclub. Nightclub. Bula 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 I think finished like 4 eh? <laughs> So I oh, hardly any sleep So I went to work late that morning So very strict uh, uh, boss. boss She said I can sit Yeah I've sent John, John to go and cover that much You go up to Parliament Some Yeah okay because look on a normal day, the match is an exciting thing to cover. Parliament would be like another boring day of speak of you know statements, whatever was happening. Okay, said I'll go. So I went as sitting in the press gallery, hungover and all, like really suffering. So the photographer who went with me, Rama, I feel like it would be the one decision he's regretted his whole life. Oh. He said, I just go and do this job and then I'll come back. Ah. I said, sure. Oh, so he left? He left. He was the only photographer. Oh, so that's why we don't have any... From inside. When it happened. No, when, when it, it went happened. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not the time when you can like, pull out your phone and... Then... Yeah, there's no smartphone. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there. And then you finally hear the alarm going because they do this siren thing. So all the members come sit down. Thing had just started. So, kakaila mind. I think like, who's screaming? Now I'm like awake, like gone. You know? the yes, I'm lucky now. Hangover, I'm like looking down, like who's screaming? And then I saw these boys, like they really look like boys who just come up. They were not in uni military uniform or anything, they were just in shorts and yeah. And he was like screaming, like this is a takeover, like da da da. And, and Dr. Kurustangila said, you know, what's going on? Man? Why? No, like he was like trying to, and that's when he shot the first shot. Oh, he fired again. He fired into the yeah. air. Into the ceiling. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you know. So now everyone was like, okay, fuck, like yeah, yeah. this is real, eh? How's your hangover? What you want to Gone. Kill it. What you want to do? I realized what was going on, and so I, you just kind of automatic. I just started taking notes. Children refused to move, like mm. they were telling them to move mm. up. Children refused to move, and they dragged him out from out his seat and kicked him from behind the knee mm. to, get to force him to sit yeah. down. Yeah. So they all started getting. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. Tied. and same thing with uh, Tupeni Bamba, who is his deputy prime minister. So they did this for each of them. So he, they didn't touch the or no. ask the women, you know. And then at the same time, there were these people with a basket. They were collecting everyone's phone. When they came to opposition, there were a couple of people I noticed. They didn't take their phones. Ooh. But. Do you think everyone had a phone back then? Or? No, oh no, you saw, but they would have had visible. Yeah. The phones were massive back then. So I just, I just started working. I just started taking notes and everything. Did they notice you? Yeah. By the time I look around, there was a guy there, in lovely pink shirt, with one big tamani gun. Oh, yeah, behind you, next to you? Yeah. I didn't even hear him walking he to the. He just appeared right there. What did he say to you? No, I just looked at him and I was thinking, you know, I thought, okay. First time, and I've been so close to a gun. Mm. They didn't take your notebook. No. Did you I think they wanted a... people to. Yeah, because they wanted be, reporters yeah. to be there to tell, tell what's happening. Tell what's happening. Community sense, sense, yeah. 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 We mean, we were like about four hundred meters away at grandma. Oh, students. Yeah, back then. I feel so old now. No, but I mean, we were just like. Ooh, that about two okay. decades apart. <laughs> <laughs> did you get did you get hell did you have to stay in parliament for or did they let you out the same day or yeah what happened after that yeah no we came finally was allowed to walk out so came down deserted notebook. nobody no i got my notebook everything 
and then I called Fiji Times to say, you know, I'm okay. They were all at the gate. The Fiji Times gate? Yeah. Really? I mean, all the media gate, they were at yeah, the yeah. back gate. Were you the only media person inside? No, there was this other girl. Um, I forget her name. As soon as this thing is, she starts crying. And I'm thinking, who let the man? <laughs> like, I really don't need to. <laughs> This is not the time. This is not the time to cry, <laughs> Leo, especially when you turn around. Yeah. And there's this guy just standing there. No balaclava, nothing. He just... I thought they were wearing balaclava. Yeah. yeah. So we had... We were roasted. Like we would... Uh, because uh, George Spade liked to do his press conferences at like 2 in the morning. Yeah. So we would like... Yeah. <laughs> Sami. Sami apparently hates him because... <laughs> you know, he would, you know, because it was so <laughs> This takeover was quite yeah. you know, like just the timing. I was yeah, very annoyed. Uh, <laughs> man, That's a good. different gang came, okay, man. Like every day, there were people coming, and bringing food for this gang. For the then, rebels. Yeah, and then you start having women who are there to wash clothes and all that. And, and so, you like a whole community. Yeah. Side. Yes. Community. The areas that we, even as reporters, we just don't go into any of the buildings there yeah? because they're all stuff, mm. you know, they're all, it's parliament complex. Mm. You still condition there like this is parliament. Yeah, you don't. You don't did you see this game? Kila, Valili Sulu across like this everywhere. So, I saw the, I remember seeing the fire marks like from the outside cooking all over that front gate, ground, you know, that ground behind the front gate. And so he would have his press conferences at night. Kid mummy, got that Mickey to dinner because uh, we were rostered. Like, okay, you start like from shift, 11, yeah, shift. Because you never know mm. when he'd come out and, and or what's going to happen. Give, uh, like so a, to speak to the people. He wouldn't give like a, I'll be out at 2 o'clock. No, he'll just come down to where the media get now. Mm. And then we'd all That's cry. right, I remember that. Yeah. It's quite random. When you think about it, it's. Uh, he would just walk down and we'd be like, okay, he's not. <laughs> Put on my expense. <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning, they're practicing how to march. Really? In their shorts and t shirts. Left, right, left, right, all around the front of the main building. The Methodist Church come, big delegation, and they were singing hymns. Outside the windows, the, the hostages were. The hostages were right there, so the women were kept in the main parliament building, and the men were like in the vigilant party of like office. And so they'd be sitting there listening to these hymns coming from, you know, the road, like outside. We really shouldn't mix church and the politics. politics. Like I was so uncomfortable as a Christian, right? Just sitting there and listening to this. It was the epitome of hypocrisy or what you want to say, yeah, if you want to say. Like, it was just really, really made me like, in terms of which coup affected you most, that one really, I couldn't believe they were singing hymns and the hostages were just sitting like yards from them. So just to be clear, when they're singing hymns, they're singing hymns in like w w what was the purpose of them? They're singing hymns like to show support to George Spade or to comfort the hostages or what? No, this is the Methodist Church delegation coming to visit George Spade and his crew and to show their support. They had all kind of food and everything, so there was a bit, little bit of a church gathering, That's singing crazy. of hymns. Yes. I got the backing of the church. Ooh. That's big. That's crazy. Anyway. Always have hope, eh? But the case then, I probably wouldn't be living here anymore. Mm -hmm. If we decide to to make Fiji our home and just to stay here, then there's something there. Nah. I like that. You gotta have hope. Hmm? Gotta have hope. Um, yeah. I'm just bored.
mata tunggu nelayan mah. 